Okay, here we go. Hi right there, what can I get for you? Hi, how you doing today? Good, how are you? Good, good. Um, can I get four double quarter pounders with cheese? Um, One second, let me pull up the kitchen. No, that would take that much. Okay. I hope you guys can hear this. Okay, are those just sandwiches or combos? Uh, just the sandwiches. Okay. And then can I get uh, two large fries with no salt on them? Yeah. And then um, I want a 20 pack of chicken McNuggets and then a 10 pack of chicken McNuggets. Okay. And what sauce is there? Um, let's do, uh, I, I don't know, like, we'll do sweet and sour and I think you guys have like a, some kind of mustard sauce as well. Like yeah, a, hot mustard, yeah. Yeah, hot mustard, sweet and sour, sounds good. Okay. Um, and then I need uh, three medium Diet Cokes and one large Diet Coke. Three medium Diet Cokes, one large Diet Coke. Hey everyone, Joel Hans here, and here we are with the Could You Eat This in 90 Minutes for $3,500 challenge. So what this challenge consists of, I'm going with the Matt Stoney version. He is the one who kind of made this challenge most famous. Um, I have four double quarter pounders with cheese. I have two large fries. I have 30 chicken McNuggets. I actually ordered 40, I have an extra 10 right there. And then I have three Diet Cokes, medium, and one large Diet Coke. So essentially it is, you know, 90 minutes, could you eat this for $3,500? Obviously nobody's actually paying anybody $3,500. This was a famous kind of meme, Twitter post, et cetera, that went viral. But it's kind of now more turned into like, how fast can you do this? So I asked you guys, you guys wanted to see this done. Here where I do this today. So let's dive into it. I'm super excited, kind of. I haven't had McDonald's in a long time. I don't even know if I've ever actually had a quarter pounder. So let's find out what this is all about. Let's get at it. Oh, La Royale of cheese. You know that reference. All right, so I took the drinks off the tray because I don't want to spill them. So again, four double quarter pounders, 30 minutes of chicken McNuggets, do two large fries, and then the four drinks, of course. Um, yeah, so I guess the time to beat is kind of Matt Stoney's time of, I believe it's eight minutes, 55 seconds. And then have the extra 10 McNuggets ordered right there. All right, so we're gonna get started. Fortunately, this stuff is definitely cold by now. Uh, that would be nice if it wasn't cold, it would be a lot easier, but... Oh yeah, it's freezing cold. Oh well, we're just gonna get into it. So I'm gonna uh, get my music going. So I have my timer going here. Uh, I'll start. Let's see. Ah. All right. Mm. I wonder if I can make it. It's, it looks like the screen's going to go off, so I'm trying to make it so it doesn't go off. But anyway, all right. Start the count out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
wasn't bad. That was a bit quicker than I thought it would be. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that was uh, about four minutes, 45 seconds, something like that. <coughs> there goes the burp. Woo! All right, so anyway, <coughs> tray's clear, empty, empty. So yeah, anyway, I guess now I deserve um, $3,500 because I didn't just eat it in nine minutes, or sorry, 90 minutes. I guess I ate it in about five minutes. Whatever the time will be on screen, that's the final time. So yeah, um, that was a lot of McDonald's. I had a little bit of a choke uh, on the burger. Burgers were so dry. Man, it is not the same eating an ice cold McDonald's burger as it is eating a warm McDonald's burger. So yeah, that was pretty interesting. All right, everybody, so yeah, um, that was about that, you know. Um, a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody who supported this McDonald's challenge. In fact, it was only because of you guys that I did this challenge. And everybody's name who contributed to this challenge, their names are on screen right now. Extra special thank you to everybody who contributed to this challenge. I'm so glad that you guys wanted to see it done because we got it done because of you. Um, I mean, I have 10 extra McNuggets here. I ordered 40 instead of 30 because it was $7.50 for 10 and $10.50 for 20. So I was like, well, I might as well put the extra $3 in and buy 40 McNuggets. So I'm going to heat these up. You guys can eat them with me. And I'm going to get some cookies going as well. i got to get some dessert. So yeah, it wasn't bad. Didn't use any of the sauces here, but I still have them. So let me just get some food ready. And uh, let's eat some more. So yeah, let me get this stuff done and get some cookies in the oven and we'll be back. All right. So I got my chicken McNuggets all warmed up. That's what I should have done with everything. Should have warmed it up. But uh, yeah, so I also don't remember if I did, but... A uh, huge shout out goes to my friend Darren, Darren Brea, Darren Eats. He did this challenge. And he beat, also beat Matt Stoney's time. He was the first person I saw to beat Matt Stoney's time. And I think something, it was, it was just a, a, like five something, five minutes and something seconds. Just a bit over five minutes. So. Huge shout out to him. If you're not familiar with Mr. Darren Eats, great eater, go check him out. Um, I also hear, you can't see because the, uh, here. I also have a sheet full of cookies, chocolate chip cookies, Pillsbury ones are baked in the oven. This, um, this, spi this hot mustard is actually spicier than I, I thought it would be our member. Big nugget, focus. There you go. I actually don't like the taste of these. I'm not a big McDonald's person. I just looked up Darren's exact time, like I said, just over five minutes. Five minutes, 22 seconds. Matt Stoney's was I think um, eight minutes and 55 seconds. Darren 5.2, Matt and 55, yeah. I think that's right. All right. McNuggets. I have a few Oreos left over. I was thinking maybe I'd get into again. I made these uh, Pillsbury cookies, so while they're hot, hot and gooey, look at this. Uh, they're just like breakable. I'm gonna get into this. Hopefully they didn't stick too bad to the pan or the paper. Ooh, mmm, mmm. Okay, delicious. Hot. I mean, as good as a Pillsbury cookie can be. Like hot though, I need to let them cool off. But 
but pretty tasty. Let me do uh Yeah, let me do that. I'm gonna get some ice cream. Warm cookie cold ice cream. Got some cookies and cream, ice cream. Very soothing go with cookies. Cookie overload. Nice and soft and warm. That one didn't, that break didn't look the way I was hoping it would. Let's try it again. There we go. That's more what I was looking for. I've had Pillsbury cookies like this. Since I was a kid. And I remember them tasting a lot better. These aren't that great. Mm. I forgot about the ice cream. Mm. Tell you though, they're better because they're warm, that warm cookie. This cold, this ice cream just seems so cold now. Because I had the warm cookie. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So it's, uh, it's funny, the cookies are sweeter than this ice cream. So the ice cream doesn't even taste like that sweet. Try this combination. I'm just gonna mix my mouth. out. Ooh, ooh. Mm. That's epic. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's where it's at. That's fire. The warm cookie, the cold ice cream. Hot, warm, soft cookie. That's pretty good. Together, it is better. It is accented. Cookies by himself are fine. Ice cream by itself is fine. We're together. They have magical powers. Well, the McDonald's started to hit pretty, sit pretty heavy in my stomach though. That was just a cold bit of ice cream, but I struck my tooth. I, um, I just like smell McDonald's too, like. I find McDonald's has such a volatile smell. Like, it just goes everywhere. And I don't know at the moment, but I was tasting onions. Time I burped. Guess that's a quarter pounder for you. But yeah, that was definitely my first time ever having a double quarter pounder. I don't think I'll have another one. 
at least the way they were, like cold, not good at all. Yes, I'm sure it would be better warm, but I'd rather have something else. I like McFlurry's and ice cream from McDonald's. Another fun fact. I've actually never been to a McDonald's and they say, like an I order ice cream and they said the ice cream machine was closed or broken. I order. I keep seeing a meme and it's this big running joke that the ice cream machine's always broken, but I have yet to order. The warm cookies are pretty good. Okay, they're growing. I'm not gonna lie, they're growing on me. But if they weren't warm, it wouldn't be the same. Well, everybody, thank you for joining me. I mean, I'm basically dead. It was my high calorie day for a long time. I had to lower my calories a bit for the previous days. Prepare for this. I'll have to do the again, again the same a few days after this. But for the record, those warm cookies though. I'm not gonna buy these again. Thanks for watching everybody, hope you enjoyed. Again, huge thank you to everybody who made this challenge possible, the McDonald's challenge, could you eat this in 90 minutes for $3,500? The answer is yes, we could. I just wish somebody would give me the 3,500 bucks. But, yeah, thank you so much everybody, really appreciate you watching. If you like this video, please give it a like, give it a comment, <laughs> subscribe, Give a share if you like. Share your mom, share your grandma. Share your boyfriend, share your girlfriend, share your sister. Show your cousin. And at that, until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, and of course, don't do what I do, and happy eating.